Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought I would share with you guys a quick tutorial on how you can get MIUI 12.5 Global Beta working on your Xiaomi phones. This is going to work for the latest phones running MIUI 12. I'll list exactly which models within the description below. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So, for this tutorial, all you're going to need is a Windows PC and one of the listed MIUI 12.5 beta compatible Xiaomi phones. For this example, I'm going to be using the Mi 10T Pro. Now jumping right into it, the first thing we're going to do is unlock our phone's bootloader. For this, we're simply going to use Xiaomi's very own Mi Unlock tool, which I'm going to link in the description below. Just simply download the zip file and extract it to your computer. After which, you should see a list of files just like this. Now if you haven't dealt with fast booting a device before, make sure you install this driver right here. Now let's load up the Mi Unlock program and log in using the same Mi account details as on your Xiaomi phone. However, if you don't have an account, simply create one here and make sure to log into it within your mobile's Mi account settings. Now once you've verified your account and signed in, let's head over to our phones. Here, we want to first enable the developer options. For this, simply head into your settings, then the about phone section and now repeatedly tap the MIUI version until you get this unlock message. After which, let's head into the developer settings. For this phone, it's located at the bottom of the additional settings section. However, if you're having difficulties, you can always search for it at the top of the settings menu. Now here, we want to enable OME unlocking, USB debugging, and finally, the Mi Unlock status. Making sure to click on the add account and device button. Now before we move on, make sure to back up all your data because this next part is going to wipe your phone. Now once you're ready, simply turn off your device and then hold the volume down and power button at the same time to access fast boot mode. At this point, the Mi Unlock program should recognize your phone and you can now start the unlocking process. Now at this point, unfortunately, Xiaomi requires that newly registered devices wait anywhere between 2 hours to 7 days before they can be unlocked. And if that's the case for you, then you should see a similar message to the one that I'm getting here. Now there are some claims of apparent workarounds to bypass this waiting time, but personally, I wouldn't risk installing a modified program on my computer. So instead, I'm going to skip ahead a week and give this another try. So here we are, one week and one Windows restore later. This time round, the process completes successfully, resetting the phone to factory settings, but now with an unlocked bootloader. Just keep in mind that it's going to take your phone a good few minutes to get everything ready for you. So just have a bit of patience and follow any on-screen prompts, making sure to activate your phone via a Wi-Fi connection. Next up, let's move on to flashing a custom recovery to our phones. But before we do, we need to make sure we have minimal ADB and fast boot running on our computers. For this, just simply head to the Signature Mod website, which I've linked in the description below, and download the latest version of minimal ADB and fast boot, which we're going to use to flash a custom patched file. So to keep things simple, make sure to download the EXE version from the website as I'm showing here. And of course, install it following the on-screen prompts. Now while it's installing, make sure to head to your Xiaomi phone and re-enable developer mode. Next, make sure OME unlocking and USB debugging are both enabled. After which, we're going to put the phone back into fast boot mode, exactly the same as we did in step 1. Now as a quick note, to avoid encrypting your data partition, make sure to change your phone's password to use a pin code instead. So now the final thing we're going to need is the custom recovery file. For this, we're going to head to the Xiaomi EU forum, where you can find a detailed guide and support if you ever get stuck during this process. 
but the main reason we're here is for this table which not just lists all of the supported phone models and the available Android versions but also indicates their board names as well as the MIUI 12.5 ROM names associated. So make sure you note down the information related to your phone. Such as for this example, the Mi 10T Pro's board is called Apollo with the ROM name HMK30S Ultra. Now using this information, let's download the recovery file. For this, simply use one of the three links available here. Now simply find the files related to your phone's board name and download it. For some of you, such as here with Apollo, you may have multiple files. In that case, you want to go with the file that includes your phone's ROM name. And once you've downloaded the file, let's finally flash it. So let's open minimal ADB and start by first checking that our device is correctly connected by simply typing fast boot devices at which point you should see your phone within this list next let's flash our downloaded custom recovery using the command fast boot flash recovery space and then drag and drop your downloaded file before hitting enter at which point you should see these ok indicators Next, let's boot into the recovery. For this, you can either simply hold the power and volume up button or by using the command fast boot, boot, space, and then your recovery file. At which point your phone should reboot into the custom recovery, which as a quick note can be changed into English using the option here. Now for the final step, installing the MIUI 12.5 custom ROM. For this, we're going to head back to the Xiaomi EU forum, where we're going to find the relevant ROM for our phone. Now referring back to this table as previous, we're going to be looking for the relevant ROM file for your phone. So make sure you write the correct label down. Now using these four links here, we want to simply check them one by one until we find the right ROM for your phone model. And of course, make sure to download it. Next, we want to simply copy and paste the file straight into our phone. Now all that's left to do is to head into your phone's custom recovery and using the install option, simply navigate to the folder in which you pasted the ROM and click install. Now simply wait for the installation to finish and reboot your phone. Now, just simply be patient and wait for your phone to boot into the new firmware. And as it's the first time turning on, this will take a few minutes. And as a final note, during the setup process, make sure to remove your SIM card, otherwise you may encounter an error. And there you have it, MIUI 12.5 running on your Xiaomi phone. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.